Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to go through my everyday makeup basket for August of 2018. I do monthly makeup baskets every month, so if you want to check out that playlist, I will throw it right up here in the cards for you guys to check out. So before we jump into the products that I'm using for August, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like these monthly makeup baskets. And if you aren't already, subscribe, hit the little bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. And let's jump into August. I can't believe it's already August, guys. It's August. Down here, I currently have all the products for my Finish 5 by Fall project pan. I do like to keep all of my project pan items in like the very bottom drawer because that's the most accessible drawer to me on my vanity. So I have all my products down there for the project pan. If you guys want to see that intro, I'll throw that up in the cards as well. The next drawer up has all of my powders. So let's go through this one. For this month's face powder, I'm using the Beauty Bakery Flower in Banana. This is my favorite yellow tinted powder ever. And I've tried so many and they all just look weird on my skin tone. This one's incredible and it looks amazing on my under eyes and I can use it on the rest of my face without it using like without it looking too light or yellow. So I do really like this powder. I've used up quite a bit but not a whole lot of it so I am excited to get more use out of this. I'm currently using two bronzers and this is one of them. This is the Milani Baked Bronzer in number 9 Dulce. I love this bronzer. It is so subtle so blendable and creamy. It's one of my favorite bronzers from the drugstore and it just looks so natural. It doesn't really come up on camera so it's not gonna be a bronzer for photography or for video but for every day, for work, for school, this is incredible. Highly recommend you try it out. The other bronzer that I've been using and loving is actually from Makeup Geek. Let's try to do this one-handed. Can we do this? Yes we can. This is the bronzer in Tawny. This one's a more dramatic bronzer. Go with the light hand. Super light hand, but it's beautiful and it lasts really well and it blends super well as long as you don't overdo it. <sighs> Love this bronzer. I did buy the lightest bronzer. This is like the medium bronzer from Makeup Geek and the light one was way too light. Like that could be like a face powder for me when like I'm tan. If I ever get tan. For contour, I'm sticking with my tried true favorite Smashbox contour palette, the shade right over on the left that is very used and abused. My all time favorite for contour. I'm gonna see if I can actually pan this. So I'm gonna keep this in my everyday drawer until I see some pan. For blush and highlight, I'm actually going to be bringing out this CoverGirl palette that I got not too long ago. It's got a nice, like, pinky peach blush in the middle and then a nice pinky toned highlighter so I do want to try those out. I think the bronzer is too orange for me. I don't think it's going to work that well but I do want to get some use out of the blush and the highlight. Another blush that I currently have is like a little mini from which, which, which brand is this? Whoops. From Benefit. This is the Rock Tour blush. It's a very very mauve kind of like deep blush. It doesn't really have any satin because a few of the minis that I got from Benefit, they did have like glitter or look a little shiny. And this one's the most matte out of the bunch. So I am going to try this one out and see how I like it. The next drawer up has all of my foundations. So let's jump into here. First, the first foundation, which should be of no surprise to anyone, the Chantecaille Future Skin Gel Foundation. Love of my life in the shade Alabaster. You can pry this out of my cold dead hands. The next foundation I have, I'm also carrying over the Dior Air Flash just because it's so quick to put on. It's so easy, so simple. I don't have to mix it. Love it. It's also really hard to focus on because it is so shiny. Oh, there it is. I'm also still testing out the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. I've used this a couple of times. I've loved the finish. I've loved how it feels on my skin, but I feel like it oxidizes a lot. Like to embarrassing level. So I have been trying to use lighteners with this. I've been trying to mix it with other foundations, but I don't know if I should just go for a lighter shade or if that's just the formula. So I am testing this out some more this month. The next foundation I have, still kind of new, but quickly, quickly becoming a favorite CYO Life Proof. I have the shade number four and it is a little bit too dark. So I do lighten it with my LA Girl Drops. And last but not least, I am testing out a new foundation to me, the Even Steven Whipped Foundation from The Balm. 
I will say this has such a strange like consistency to it. I thought it would be more of a gel but it actually is like whipped but it's also super thick and like full coverage which I was not expecting at all. So I am still testing this out. Expect a video sometime this month. Drawer right up here is my concealer so let's go through those real quick. I have three of them. The first concealer I'm pulling back out is the Kylie Concealer. This is in the shade Ivory. You, you know what? Surprisingly good concealer. Full coverage, lasts well throughout the day, works well with different powders. It's just so shiny that it doesn't want to focus. That's the downside here. But really good concealer and I do want to see if I can pan this as well. What is it with me and like the shiny concealers? This isn't working well for my focus. There we go. <laughs> The next holdover I'm keeping is the Chantecaille, the Camouflage Stylo Anti-Fatigue Corrector Pen. Just a um, dewy, light coverage concealer that I like to use under my eyes when I'm going for a more natural look. And the last concealer that I'm going to be using is the e.l.f. Maximum Coverage Concealer. I do have some breakouts around my mouth right now, and I haven't used this in a while, so I do want to see how I like it for spot concealing. Let's go through primers next. The first primer I am using is the Misha BB Boomer Primer. This is specifically made for use under the Misha BB Cream, but I feel like that's been a little bit too heavy for me recently, so I've been using it with other foundations, and I like it. It's really moisturizing. It feels really good. It's moisturizing without feeling heavy, which is really good for a primer. The next primer that I'm using is the Spotlight Illuminating Primer from Physicians Formula. I don't like this as much as my Dr. Chart illuminating primer, but it's- wait, was it Dr. Jar? I think it was Dr. Brandt. Dr. something illuminating primer. But this is really good. I do like it. I think it's still a little bit too expensive for the drugstore. Use your coupon, save your coin, but I do like this under matte foundations because it just- I mean it seems a little counterintuitive, but it just gives you a nice- it gives it a better finish as opposed to doing a matte- or a matte primer on top or a matte- wait what? <laughs> or a matte foundation on top of a matte primer. I just like the look of a illuminating primer under a matte foundation. So this one's more of like a mini sample size one. I'm using the Pore Refiner Primer from Dr. Brandt. It's an okay pore primer, nothing special. I don't like it better than other options you can get from the drugstore for pore reducing, so I'm basically- I'm just gonna use up the sample and then move it out of my collection. The most recent addition to my collection is actually a primer from Lush. I didn't know they make primers. <laughs> I, I had no idea. So I got a sample. It's called the Magical Morning Primer. I have not tried this out yet. I do want to try it out. They gave me a lot of product in here. Let me open it up. For like a little free sample that I got in the store. Like that's a decent amount of product. It's probably like three full applications. So I do want to try it out and see how it works with a couple of different foundations. Alrighty, and last but not least, we have kind of our catch-all drawer that has like eyeliner, eyebrows, glitter primer, mascara, liner. So my two mascara holdovers, nothing special. I'm just sticking with the Stila Huge um, Extreme Lash Mascara and the Essence Lash Princess. After this month, they should reach their time and be done with, so I do just want to use them for the remainder of the month. They wouldn't truly be one of my videos unless this was in it. NYX Glitter Primer can't live without it. I'm currently testing out two brow gels and one I'm really liking but I do want to give it some more testing. The top one is the e.l.f. clear brow gel from their beautifully bare collection and the bottom is the NYX control freak. I'm also just finishing up an Ulta Beauty brow tint in deep just because it's almost done and I do like this for feathering out the innermost part of my brows. I felt like I was getting too comfortable with my ABH dip brow, so I decided to swap it out and go back to an oldie but a goodie. This is the Brow Gal Brow Trio, and I remember absolutely adoring this palette and using it non-stop for months. So I am going to go back. I do like using the darkest shade all the way there on the left. I do have a little bit of hard pan in there. I might just scrape that off because the rest of the pan is just fine. But I do just want to switch it up because I feel like I did get into a rut with just using the dip brow, like every day. Okay, and real quick before we end the video, if anyone is interested in my nail polish color, this is actually from Cirque Colors. I have it right here. And it's the shade Memento Mori. It's my absolute favorite black nail polish, and I'm not really good at doing my nails. 
but uh, I just love this polish. It, you don't need more than a coat. I put on two just because I'm paranoid and I ruin my nails really easily, but I just, I love this nail polish so much. Alright guys, and that is my everyday makeup basket for August. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know down below what you're planning to use for August. And if you can't even already believe like it's August, I can't. but I'm ready for fall. So, ready for fall. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!